Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Late Night Football, a second match reaction show for today. It's finished Leeds United nil, Manchester City 4 in the end. Uh, and I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a bit of a scoreline that flatters Manchester City. I mean, I might get some purpose for saying that, but I think it's a scoreline that flatters uh, City a little bit. I don't think they were the fluent best until probably the last 10, 15 minutes once, uh, you know, they got that third goal and then Leeds kind of dropped a little bit, but uh, I mean, you know, it was uh, it was quite an even game for about 70 minutes. Uh, and even, you know, by city standards, of course, even I don't mean that, you know, Leeds uh, were necessarily very good, but I think they gave Leeds a lot more chances than they probably should have. Um, and I wouldn't read too much into it, to be honest. I mean, this was a city team that was not having uh, De Bruyne, uh, there was no Mares, there was no Bernardo Silva. So there's quite a few players that were rested, which I think would be a good thing for City as well, because they've got to be around Madrid in three days. Uh, and Madrid obviously rested a few players themselves. So, I mean, in that sense, I think City will be happy that they got a nice, comfortable win. Um, but it wasn't necessarily a vintage City performance like the scoreline might suggest uh, to some people. So, uh, that, 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 that being said, I thought it was a good performance overall, though, from City. I think definitely uh, there were some good standouts. Uh, both the top, the first two goals came from set pieces. And again, I mean, Leeds, that's, that's a problem for them. All season has been a problem. They've been considering so many goals from the set pieces. Uh, not sure what they could do uh, to fix that, but uh, I mean that you know, um, not I'm not having Cooper obviously uh, made an impact as well. But uh, really, both the goals, you know, you really shouldn't be considering that many from set pieces. Uh, but that, and then of course you're up against Manchester City, who are now the top scorers from set pieces this season. So uh, you know, it was always a mismatch. It was always going to be a mismatch. Um, but good goal from Rodri, a good finish from Ake as well. And I just wonder if Ake now is is going to be uh, you know ahead of. Uh, uh, Sinchenko when it comes to being the left back uh, for, for the game against Madrid. I don't think, I think Sinchenko probably was one who was penciled in the start and that's why I think Ake started this one but maybe Ake just kind of went, you know what, maybe I need to start. And, and to be honest, um, after Sinchenko came on, there were a couple of chances that came, that fell uh, uh, Leeds way. So I, I would probably look at look at that and go, yeah, maybe I should start Ake um, on the left. I know he might be beaten for pace by Rodrigo, but I think defensively he's far more sound. So that would be my you know, opinion there, but we'll see what, what Pep Guardiola does uh, for that one. Um, and of course, it's an important win for Liverpool, for City as well, because Liverpool won and City need to keep pace and they've done that. Um, you know, and, and they've done it some style. Now they've also clawed back on the goal difference a little bit. I don't think it will come down to goal difference, to be honest. I mean, you know, at the end of the day, for goal difference to come into, picture, into, into play, you would basically need City to lose the game and Liverpool to draw a game. And then you kind of look at goal difference. I don't think that's going to happen. I don't think either of these two teams, I don't think there's going to be a situation where both teams will drop points um, on the same you know game week like that. So it could happen, but I don't think it will happen. So I, I think um, I think that will not come into play. But nonetheless, it's still, it's still a good cushion to keep uh, for Manchester City to just have that thing in the back of their minds that, yeah, you know, we're getting that goal difference as well and we're getting it up. So um, that that is uh, about the goal difference as well. Uh, I, I mean, it's hard to say. I mean, it was also disgusting, by the way, to talk about the fact that the, these fans were throwing stuff onto the field. I mean, I get that they don't like the Jack Village so much, but you really shouldn't be doing that. In, in, any any team, any fan, any set of fans shouldn't be doing that. And I thought that was disrespectful. And this case, I hope action will be taken against uh, Leeds. But that one, um, you know, it's, it's a lot of work that's gone in uh, to try to, you know, rebuild that image uh, in, in England. And yet uh, we still have these incidents. So hopefully this will be curbed and hopefully action will be taken to make sure these things don't happen often but it was it was not very nice to see it was not at all very good to see uh in terms of performances uh again it was not a vintage city performance but i don't think anybody played too badly i think sterling there was a lot of moments when he was going down blind alleys and and that's one thing that i would point if there was a criticism there was one thing to criticize and that probably would be it is the fact there was a lot of he was going down a lot of blind alleys but i don't think he played badly i think it was pretty okay um obviously he prefers playing off the left rather than the right but he's playing on the right because Kulish has to be on the left um, I thought Zinchenko was average when he came on. Uh, maybe that was because Ake was so good on the left that you know, when he came on, but the, there seemed to be a drop off defensively uh, when Zinchenko came on. Maybe some City fans can tell me if I'm right or wrong, but it just felt like there was a bit of a drop off uh, when Zinchenko came on. But, and they'll be happy to have Cancelo back uh, for the next game. I thought he looked assured. Uh, that right hand side, though, I mean, and, that, and the reason why I say Sterling was a little bit average is because that right hand side was there for the taking. Uh, throughout the game, I think it was there for the taking. And it just felt like uh, they didn't exploit it as much as they could have. And I think a lot, you know, because I mean, Sterling had the beating of uh, Furpo on that side. And I, I just don't think they exploited it to the full potential. So maybe that's why I'm, I'm a bit, uh, you know, skewed on, on, on that. But maybe, maybe, maybe I'm watching one. Maybe Sterling actually had a good game. So people hear me in the comment section will think about that. But it's a big three points. The big three points for, for Leeds. They needed it. Uh, sorry, the Leeds, Manchester City. They needed it. They got it. And I think that will help them now just to keep pace with Liverpool. Liverpool had won, so they need to win. So they've done that. 
Um, and of course, they also need to publish an MS, a little bit of a message to Real Madrid as well. So they've done that, and now you know they can focus on the Wednesday game that's coming up. For Leeds, um, I'm not sure if, if they are in trouble of relegation. I mean, they're not that far off of Everton, but the thing is, um, Everton don't seem that they're getting three points anywhere. So um, it, those games will be important. I think probably another six points might should be enough for Leeds, but um, uh, but I, I don't think they're in immediate danger. But I think if Everton start pulling a couple of results out of somewhere and if Burnley do the same, then maybe they might get dragged. And so it's probably about four or six points to be safe. But um, I. I don't, I don't think at the moment it's, it's at, at the moment they look safe. They look safe. That's the most important thing. Uh, but we'll see what happens with the course of this of this uh, of this uh, rest of the season. There's only four games left to play. Uh, but if you enjoyed this uh, the game, do smash a like for for Manchester City. Congratulations to all Manchester City fans for the win. And obviously all the best for you guys for uh, Wednesday. Let's see what happens there. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, do remember to like it. Also remember to follow us on uh, Facebook and subscribe to our channel on YouTube. We always appreciate your support and we want to continue producing more content. So your, your subscription helps us do that. So please do support the channel. Uh, we'll be back again uh, you know, with more match reactions tomorrow. But uh, in the meantime, stay safe. Have a good day or night, whatever time you're watching this. And we'll see you again very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.